everybody is Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a good uh, start to your week. Hope everything is going as planned. If not, as always, say you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. Look, I'm going to get straight to this. Those that believe in what we're doing, uh, support us, and I'm going to move on because uh, I have a couple of things I want to say, and I'm going to be very straight and direct. Uh, from the moment that I stepped on this platform, uh, damn, almost 14 years ago, uh, I made it clear why I was here. I was here to bring truth. I wasn't here to be liked. I wasn't here to be popular. I wasn't here to put on a performance. I was not here to entertain. Um, and, and, and that's been my calling card since I've been consistent about that. Um, this is a second go round on this particular channel because the first one got snatched for no reason. Um, lost a lot of subscribers that never, never found me or never came back. It is what it is. Uh, but this is a second go round and the message is the same. Um, damn counting both both uh both channels now this doesn't include anything else i'm doing on social media we're talking solely about the black voice channel um we're talking damn close to seven eight thousand videos um total and that's just in the videos here this doesn't count books this doesn't count the almost thousand articles uh, I've written on the Odyssey Project site alone and doesn't count any of the other articles, any of the other lectures, anything else, just this one particular channel. And I've brought you truth after truth after truth. Truth that is what? Researchable. Truth that is verifiable. Uh, truth that can be questioned. I don't think I know it all. I don't think I have all the answers, but I'm here for the truth. I'm not here for any of the other stuff. Yes, it's good when you like uh, the video because that helps in the rankings and more people see it. It's good when you subscribe. That means you get notifications with more videos. It's good when uh, you share. People that would not normally see it will see it, but it doesn't have anything to do with how I feel about what I'm doing or how I feel about myself or what I'm doing. I'm saying that because it amazes me that people want you to literally dress up truth in order to convince them to listen to it. Uh, and I'm not going to do that. And I'm, there's, there are a number of reasons why I'm not going to do that. Um, I literally built, rebuilt my business 14 years ago online. So I have a presence online or over 20 plus different entities on the Internet. Plus the business I generate online that I actually do offline. Uh, it's how I do what I do and I've done extremely well uh, so uh, I understand how to do post-production videos I understand how to edit and do all that and I do it for certain videos and I do it and I've done it here I've done it I've given you a lot of what you asked for but here's the thing I am not going to invest my money, my time, my energy in making something more attractive when the truth should be enough. If I was trying to sell you something, like when I do, I do my marketing things, I'll do it. Um, and it's only so far I'm going to go with that because I've built a reputation at being good at what I do and the people who see the value and they see it. Um, as things change and, you know, the marketing team takes over more and more they'll do what they do and they and i'll trust them to do it and who knows it may be grand but for me when i'm coming to you and i'm giving you the fruit of my eighty thousand hours of research the fruit of my dissemination in over 26 books and thousands of articles and i'm sharing it with you based on real live real time situations and the critique is it's not clicking okay and i'm not beyond uh constructive criticism it's how i've become who i am i listen anybody who knows i knows i listen i get it because i've responded and brought you a lot of what you said you wanted but let me explain something to you when someone comes on and says 
I don't think the internet is for you because you're not clicking with your audience. And I've had a subscribership before this one of over 20,000 subscribers. I know it's not the 100,000 so-and-so has or the 60,000 so-and-so has, but I had over 20,000 the first time. I'm, I'm uh, pushing 9,000. I'm pushing towards 9,000 now, somewhere up in there. I don't know what it's, 8,000 on the way to 9,000. And it'll eventually get there because it is growing. Uh, I keep up with it. It's not something that, my ego isn't built on how many people follow me. So I'm worried about the ones who are there that are being fed. The ones who are truly being fed, the ones who believe in, those who believe in what I say will share it with other people. That's it, I'm trying to be infectious. Uh, I'm not trying to go viral because the shit that goes viral on the internet rarely, rarely is the stuff that we need to be seeing, we need to be hearing. The things that click with the audience are rarely the things that really truly need to be consumed. The stuff that people are attracted to aren't the things that are going to empower them, aren't the things that's going to elevate them. The fact that we've got to dress up the truth in order to make it palatable or in order to make it attractive is a problem. Because here's what I can tell you, the people you're competing against that don't look like you, the people that you're complaining about who are mishandling you, those people consume hours and hours of stuff that you consider to be boring. Matter of fact, I have two of my books in white institutions. Guess who's reading it? Not black students, except for the ones who have to read it for the class, predominantly white kids. Guess what? They're starting to understand who they're competing against. They're starting to understand how we behave. They're starting to understand the things that trigger us. You're being studied consistently and you won't study. That is a problem. And, you know, um, I'm just saying, you know, the, you know, the, and the people, you know, for the people who sit up and say some of the stuff I hear is crazy, uh, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna address it because, you know, I got time today. I'm, I'm in that place. I've been through a lot. I'm working with kids. I'm watching kids get shot. I'm burying kids. I'm watching our women run around looking for places to stay and trying to, uh, facilitate all this stuff. And somebody's talking about clicking. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And, and, and don't get me wrong. The person who did it, did it in a respectful way. So let me let, let me back up. The person who did it in a respectful way. Matter of fact, you know, they said, hey, look, I'll do respect. And they gave me their opinion. But here's my problem. They didn't realize in giving, their, giving me their opinion that they were actually validating the whole thing I've been saying. We want to be entertained. We don't want the truth. We want to be entertained. Now, if you can entertain me and give me the truth, Dave Chappelle, uh, then I'm all for it. The problem is you got the truth for free, but you're worried about how it's delivered. I don't care if I talk like this. If what's coming out of my mouth has the power to change the black situation, it should be listened to. This whole idea, speed up your cadence, do this. I mean, I've heard it all over the line. And the thing is, I get it. I literally do my business in this and I've done well. And so here goes the next thing. When people say, well, you've done so well, why are you asking people to donate? Because I have 13 children, nine grandchildren. I'm passing down a lineage and an inheritance. I'm building for the future of my lineage. And I'm also funding 99% of what I do in the black community because, you know, I think July was a hundred dollar month, which is pretty good considering the average. You know, there have been a couple of two hundred dollar months, same person. And then so in twenty years, this organization has not raised twenty thousand dollars. Not complaining, but sitting up making a statement. Nobody had there isn't enough that's come in. You damn sure ain't taking care of me. I've had months better than that. So you're not taking care of me. But it would be nice to have someone share in the vision, share in it. We talk about black unity. You can't care about black unity if you know your people out there suffering and you can do something to help them and you're not helping them. You don't care. You're talking. That's what they know we'll do. We'll talk a good game. We'll pump our fists in the air. But when it comes to actually putting shit together and making it happen, well, we're not doing that. We ain't happy unless people like me is beefing with other people who are online trying to do something. Y'all love that shit. It'll be likes and shares and everybody's beefing. Y'all love that. Y'all love to see the people who need to be working together beefing. Y'all eat that shit up, but you get upset because, well, his delivery is off, you know. And yeah, 
I am shooting a lot of videos while riding in my vehicle because I actually run multiple businesses and the time I was spending doing actual production wasn't producing anything different. So I'm literally passing up money because every hour has has a dollar a dollar amount assigned to it for me. I know what I'm worth per hour. I know what my time is worth. So every moment I'm spending on putting production and post-production and, and all this other stuff that you'll find on some of the videos on this channel, and it produces absolutely nothing, that's taking money away from what I could be doing in my businesses. I know why, and I come up and tell you every video. If you believe in what I'm doing, get and I keep right on moving. There are a few times in a 20 year span, I can count three, where I got so frustrated that I literally said I was shutting things down. One time I did, I shut it down for a week, but I couldn't because this thing is bigger than me. So I picked it back up and figured, hey, God will make a way he always has. I was talking with someone today about people they're helping in multiple places. Let me tell, let me give you, give you a couple of numbers. Just in Atlanta alone, I'm in H, but just in Atlanta alone, H is probably worse. But in Atlanta alone, in the first seven months of 2023, 72,000 evictions. You want to guess uh, the predominant demographic in that? Shelters are full. Why? The heat is driving those who would normally just sleep on the street is driving those inside. So people who are being evicted, people who are victims of domestic violence, people who are victims of incest and things of that nature are finding it harder to find places. Affordable housing is pretty much a, 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 a thing, an idea of the past. Uh, despite a warning from the financial side, two black people to start buying properties so that we can protect uh, lower income housing. Nobody bought into it, very few got into it. So what happened is major investors bought up all of the entry level property. So that's no such thing as a start a home anymore. You can't find a home for purchase under 260, 270, 300,000. All of the homes that cost less than that are now for lease. They're owned by investors and they are charging the same amount of money you would pay for a house you were buying at 200. So. It, it, it's not affordable housing. We could have controlled that. But what happens is now people are put out. Nobody cares how hot it is. Nobody cares that you got kids because every person that's come to me that I've had to help was a female with children. Don't get me started on where the man at. That's a whole nother thing and I've been a champion on that. You can't miss me on that. I've been in the game and there's nothing I want to talk about. I hold everybody accountable, including myself. So my thing is this. We really and truly are at a place where we're gonna to have to piss or get off the pot, as my great grandparents used to say. It's time to piss or get off the pot. Uh, Dr. Anderson, uh, bless his heart, for years has been telling us that we're gonna end up being a permanent underclass if we don't make moves. And his cutoff date was actually 2013. He and I disagreed with on this significantly. He and his wife, Joanne, disagreed on this uh, intensively and and, and 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 I think some of it with me is sentimental some of some of it with, some of it with me is simply the mentality that I live my life I don't believe in camp uh, but we are doing everything in our possible to put ourselves in a situation of impossibility and so my thing is instead of worrying about how it sounds how it looks now the times that people say they can't hear it I get that that's on me but most of the times that people say they can't hear it, I can hear it fine on mine and people will come on and say, well, I can hear it fine. Then that's your device. Okay, and so it's not me. Most of the times you'll hear the ambient noise when I'm riding, I'm in a freaking car. Uh, well, a SUV. And it is what it is. And I'll do the best I can to do more at my desk. But what you gotta understand is I'm at a very, a very important transitional point in scaling out my company and it's taken so much of my time and I'm managing a family from a very unique uh, situation and position uh, my family is very important to me 
And so a lot is going on. So this is the time when I'm in the vehicle. Num number one is I, I rarely listen to the radio because stuff is trash now. So it's a time of quiet. So I take it as a chance to, between trips to the gym, trips to the cigar shop, uh, trips to the grocery store, whatever, to pop the phone into the, uh, the, the mount and run one off. Um, again, uh, no disrespect, but I'm just going to be straight, which I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to inform you. You can get entertainment for all these other clowns that's got all this stuff that they talk about that mean absolutely jack shit when it comes to empowering black people. Because if it did, all the millions of followers and everything they have, we would have a better situation. We're going to have to get away from the escapism. We're going to have to get away from all of the avoidance of real true issues, the substance and the boring stuff and the hard stuff and the laborious stuff and the stuff that's going to really challenge us to do something and, and be consistent in it and, and have patience with it. Those are the things that are going to change the situation. So that's what we should be focusing on. All this other stuff, I'm going to let y'all have it. I'm not going to attack anybody. You out there making money, doing your thing, do your thing. Uh, but what I'm saying is it has to make sense to me because you know, I don't need my ego stroked. I know who I am. So having a bunch of likes and a bunch of followers with nothing happening means nothing to me. I'd rather have a few people who really get it and are willing to challenge it. And if nothing else, sharpen iron. Challenge me and ask me questions that make me sit up and think harder about where we're at. That, 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 that's that's a part of the value of this thing. But to sit up and think, man, what can I do to get them to do this? What can I do to get them to do this? You know, I, at some point when I sit down with my business and that marketing team, I'm going to eventually ask them to take a look at what's going on here and what they want to do with it, how they want to do it. We've already discussed it. But as far as me putting more energy and time in telling you the truth, I mean, not. I don't have. A, I'll talk about the truth all day long if I could. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with coming up with ways to dress it up for you so that you'll want to hear it. I have a problem with that. What the hell is wrong with us? I went out and sought this. Nobody had to ask me to look at it. Nobody. I went and found it, and I found it in libraries on microfish. A bunch of this stuff I researched. You got to think, I, I've got 80,000 research. I've been doing this stuff since the 80s. So I literally was researching long before you could type something into something like Google or Bing or Yahoo. I actually had to go read it. I actually picked up books. I actually ordered uh, research papers and dissertations and all this other stuff to review and to do my research. I've been doing this a long time. I sought it. Nobody had to find me and chase me down to give it to me because I understand the importance. We lose because we don't understand how things work. We lose because we don't have a grasp of how the game is being played. We lose because they understand us better than we understand ourselves. We lose because they got 13 things. 1300 think tanks and we've got three we lose because we don't invest in learning and growing and building and becoming better and they are investing not only in that for themselves but in ways to hold us back so i'm gonna leave up i'm gonna leave all the concerns and worries about how to make things look better sound better be more appealing up to y'all uh i'm gonna do what i do uh and if it gets better uh some kind of way it does and i'm grateful uh, it, it, and it's not that I don't want something that's a certain way. It's that it's got to make sense to me. I'm literally, because of how things are going, I build this. I worked in it. I finance it. So literally now, I'm basically paying to get you to hear what I got to say without anything in return. It makes sense when I'm putting into an ad budget. It makes sense when I'm putting into a marketing campaign. Why? There's an ROI for that. There's a return on investment. I don't get anything. I do this because I love to. I get jack. It costs me more to do it than I get by a long shot. And yet here I am on a daily damn basis. I took a couple of days off because I had to think about this. But again, and then I share with you things in business. Look right over it. Complain about your job. Complain about all this stuff I'm trying to tell you. The landscape is changing 
the the old fashioned job market is going out the window. Technology is taking over at, at a rapid pace. If you don't get ahead of it, I'm trying to tell you. And then it'll be out there whining and complaining. They're doing this to no. You had the same opportunity that these everybody else has. AI is not going to be what replaces you. People who know how to manipulate, control, manage, handle it, and, and use it are going to be the ones who replace you. They will use it to do what you do, but it's them. You learn something, you use it. But again, I digress. Let me get the hell off of you. Look, again, like I said, if you believe in what I do, support me. If not, you know, do whatever. If you, do, just, if I'm really just getting on your nerves because I don't click with you, don't listen. It, it, it's really that simple. Again, I'm not here to be liked. So I don't need anybody to kiss my ass. I don't need anybody to run up my uh, viral load or any of that shit like that. I'm good. Trust me. I've done everything in my life I can possibly do to this point to be an impact. And I will do that until I take my last breath and I'll go to the grave being okay with it. On that note, look, I'm out of here. Y'all take care.